For more than 100 years, Kansas Farm Bureau has played an important role in agriculture throughout Kansas, the United States, and around the world. From the beginning, advocacy, education, and service have been integral parts of the state's largest farm organization. Farm Bureau began in the 1900s as decades of discontent with the farm economy and social decline of the farmer began bubbling to the surface. In an effort to provide farmers with the newest farming techniques, the county extension agent used land-grant college research, state funding, and local support. In 1912, the Leavenworth Progressive Agricultural Club was formed to improve the lives of farmers with technical and educational assistance. This was the first county farm bureau in Kansas. On February 27, 1920, Kansas Farm Bureau held its first meeting. 36 counties sent representatives, and Ralph Snyder, a farmer and banker from Oskaloosa, was elected as Kansas Farm Bureau's first president. Three years later, the start of KFB's advocacy work began. In 1923, Farm Bureau fought for comprehensive reformation of Kansas tax laws on property, highways, and luxuries. This led to a successful gasoline tax and a state income tax, while also decreasing property taxes. Throughout the years, Farm Bureau and its members have fought for and won a constitutional amendment that allowed use value appraisal of agricultural land, passed a constitutional amendment that adjusted the classification rates on commercial properties, which stopped the opportunity to broaden the tax base with livestock and farm machinery and created a political action committee that sees more than 90% of vote FBF-supported candidates elected. And today we are fighting to ensure every Kansan has access to high-speed broadband service no matter where they live and work. In 1920, KFB offered its first service to members by working against wool buyers who formed a buying pool to drive down wool prices. KFB played a pivotal role marketing the wool and helped create a state wool growers association. For 100 years, your farm organization has found ways to support its members through service by uniting and bargaining collectively for better prices on commodities and livestock, offering programs that help members save money on tires, lubricants, tools, equipment, and more, providing insurance products that work for those who choose to make their homes on Kansas farms and ranches, and educating our members on issues that affect their bottom lines. Today, Farm Bureau remains committed to providing service to our members across the state while maintaining the financial strength and stability to meet these needs. From the beginning, Farm Bureau was founded on education. A county extension agent provided local support to farmers and shared the newest farming techniques with them. Throughout the years, we have provided education to our members through face-to-face -face meetings and trainings, print publications, radio broadcasts, TV programs, websites, social media, and apps. To provide vital funding and programs aimed at strengthening agriculture and the state's quality of life, the Kansas Farm Bureau Foundation for Agriculture originated in 1998. Our farm and ranch organization will continue to inform when needed, protect when challenged, and fight for our members to strengthen the lives of rural Kansans and their communities. Working together, farmers and ranchers in Kansas will accomplish feats they wouldn't be able to do by themselves.